Right. Are we recording? Are you there? Hello? Hello booktube, it's Louise the Big Hair Bookworm. Lovely to see you. Hope you're well. Hope you're having a good day, whatever it is you're doing and wherever it is you're doing it. I hope you've got a lovely day. We've got a very grey day here. It's it's bright but kind of greyish and we've had such a lovely couple of days of sunshine. It's a bit of a shock to the system when we, we don't have brilliant blue skies out there but I have been reliably informed they will be back. Hello! So how are you? Are you having a good day? Thank you so much for everybody that left a comment on my last video. You are just all lovely. And for everybody that watched it, that was that was really splendid. Thank you so much. I saw a couple of people mention the casual, the very casual Christie Club. Um, yes, it is going to come. It is. Ca I'm carrying on with it, but I'm, I'm being casual about it. But it will be next month now. Uh, by the time I get round to doing stuff, it will be next month. So I hope everybody read the last book, which is Murder at the Vicarage, or watched it, or listened to it, or idly looked looked at it. Um, I will be doing a video about that, and I will be announcing the next book. So that is on its way. But I am here today with an enormous couple of stacks of books here. So I've been gathering books over the last however many weeks. And actually, before I moved last time, I actually recorded a video um, where I showed you some of these books, but I never put it out. So I'm just going to put it out now. So I'm just going to show you them now. I hope you don't mind. So this is going to be a book haul. It is quite a big book haul. Um, I'm hoping I'll be quick, but as we know, I hope... I hope, but it doesn't always happen. It doesn't always happen. Thank you everybody who said, I don't mind 30 mini videos. That's very nice of you. I, I do try and keep them swift, but then I get carried away and I, I just start chatting to you because you're lovely and I like chatting to you. Anyway, it's going to be long again if I carry on like this, so let's not do that. So, I have a very large cup of tea here in the Marauder's Map cup. Because that was the one that was by the kettle, and here we go. So this was the first book. This is uh, the first book I'm showing you, which is Falling Creatures by Catherine Stansfield. This is a crime book set in Cornwall in 1844. So there we are. That explains to you why I was tempted by it. It is a crime book set in Cornwall. Um, it says it's a dark and macabre atmosphere that feels fresh and original. I'm on page 28. And um, it's feeling a bit slow at the moment. I could do with it picking up a little bit, but I think it's just setting the atmosphere. It does feel a bit dark, I must admit, which I quite liked. This is the first in a series of books, I gather. Um, I don't know if the detective carries on, um, and I don't know if it has a traditional detective detective, what kind of book it is, really. But it's based on historical events. Calling, falling Creatures probes the dark heart of Victorian Cornwall in the shadow of Gallows Justice. So it is going to be quite dark. But I saw this on Instagram. Um, I follow quite a few bookstagram people and um, sometimes you get some real good good um, suggestions and somebody was showing this one and the subsequent books in the series and I just thought, got to do it. I was in that mood so I got it. So that's the first one. I saw this on Mel's Instagram account and she's book food and adventures or books and food adventures or books and adventures I will I will find it and I will put it in the description box down below so it's Mel um oh and I can't remember your YouTube either <laughs> I'm sorry Mel but I will put it I will put all the details down um in the description box below but I saw her talk about this and she said it was a Scottish Jane Austen and I have never read any Susan Ferrier and this is called Marriage. So this is set in 1880. So it's, um, I, I don't know if it was written. Yes, it was. It was first published in 1880. So it's it's around that time. So it's early 1800s. Um, and it's supposed to be Scottish Jane Austen. And it looks magnificent. And it's a good chunky one. And I'm looking forward to reading it. I bought it and I thought I was going to read it like that day. But I got carried away and was reading and started reading something else instead. But that I am waiting for that. Um, I got two books in the series of books. I think an awful lot of people have uh, picked these up. I picked them up at the supermarket and they were um, two for seven pounds, I think they were. So I've got an old, as old as time, what if Belle's mother, what is Mel's, Belle's mother cursed the beast. So this is a twisted tale of um, Beauty and the Beast. And then um, this is Reflection, 
what if Mullen had to travel to the underworld? And I love anything about the underworld, so I thought that would be really good. So this is um, a twisted tale of on the Mullen uh, fairy tale or the Disney film, which I've never seen. So I'm I'm interested in catching these. Sorry about the lights, not great, is it? I've got the overhead light on. You're just going to have to do. I know there are quite a few more in the series of this, but I thought I'd give those a go first. Um, and if I like them, I thought Benedict might like them too, because he loves fairy tales. And uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, Benedict is my 10-year-old son. He's 10 now. Oh, 10. That's very grown up. Um, so, yes, yeah, so if, uh, if, if I like them, then he might like them as well. So um now this is the storm sister by lucinda riley now i don't believe this is the first one in the series there is it is a series bum 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 i think the first one is called the seven sisters i have the angel tree by her as well and this is a series of books all about a series of sisters and i haven't read any of them but at our local tip you can take books and then you can go and pick up books there. And I have got rid of so many books recently. I've, I've just felt like I was keeping on and I was holding on to a lot of books just because. And in this house, we don't have room to do that. Or if I did, they'd have to be in the garage or the loft and they wouldn't be out. And so I am trying... Um, I go through stages like this where I have a good winnow and then I allow my collection to build up and then I have a good winnow and 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 I feel it's kind of a, a natural thing to do. I know some people like to keep all the books they've read, some people don't like to keep any of them and I, I think we all have our own system and of how we, we work and so at the moment I'm having a clearing. Um, so I have been taking hundreds of books away Um and I've taken some to charity, I've given some to friends, and but I also take some to the tip because it's a book share. So it's a book kind of exchange. And you can go and rifle through and that you see such a wide variety of books. And I saw this, and this is on the day that we moved, and I thought, you know, I have been meaning to pick up this series, and I know that quite a lot of people that um, um, are friends through... through um, booktube really like Lucinda Riley's books and say that they're a good a good read and so I thought I'd give this one a go the storm sister so I need to get the first one first I suspect it will make more sense if I read them so um in sequence so I will do that and then this was my latest um at the tip so the tip is where in uh, in the UK where you take your so it's the corporation dump I suppose um and it's where you take your household rubbish that isn't collected by the refuse collectors by the bin men on a weekly basis so if you want to get rid of large stuff or you've got a lot of stuff for example when you're moving and you there are recycle areas there and most towns have one and so I've been going to one and handing over a lot of my books as well as a lot of rubbish <laughs> so yes this was the latest one that I picked up I know it's, you get such a weird selection there as well um, I got The Haunted Hotel by Wilkie Collins and I really like Wilkie Collins and I haven't read a Wilkie Collins in ages um, it sounds like this is a um, story short stories all connected so I thought that would be really nice but I loved the cover I saw that and it's a one of the vintage red um, spined and I just thought oh scrumptious have to have it have to have it do you agree yes thank you so I gave I gave I think well, I don't know, how many books did I take yesterday probably about 70 <laughs> and I brought this one home so I thought I'm, I'm going in the, <laughs> the right direction yeah and um, I really enjoyed the uh, Rene Arthur I read the first of the John uh, Madam mysteries and that was I can't remember and I don't know where it is. River of Darkness. So I read River of Darkness and I really liked it. It's um, 1920s fiction. Modern day writer, 1920s mysteries. I really enjoyed it. And so this is the second one. So I got it second hand and it's called The Blood Dimmed Tide. So I should be carrying on with that series. Couple of, well, four... Uh, non-fiction that I picked up two that I will get round to eventually quick slurp excuse me um but I'm not sure when but I will get round to them and actually I showed the husband and he went ooh, and I think he'll get round to them eventually sapiens and homo deus so those two 
by Yavel Noah Harari, is how I'm going to pronounce that. So I got the first one, which is A Brief History of Humankind, called Sapiens, and then Homo Deus, brief, A Brief History of Tomorrow. So these will be absolutely fascinating, but it's just a question of, of getting around to them. So they were on special offer that you could buy the two of them, and it was cheaper than actually just buying one. They were so such a reasonable price, because they're retailing here for £9.99, I think I got both of them for £7. Excuse me. So I know at some point they will be fabulous to read. Just not right at the moment, but I will get around to it. One, a book I have started, and I have um, some of my non-fiction books. There are non-fiction books that are not, that are, uh, I don't know, they're not kind of telling a story or, or that kind of stuff or recounting tales. When they are interweaving smaller things, I tend to read slowly over months. So at the moment I'm reading The Old Ways by Robert McFarlane and I have been reading this for I think four months but I'm reading a little bit every day and I do. I read one, two pages every single day and I love the fact that I'm doing it that slowly because I, because I skim read because I read so quickly. If I do it like this I take my time over it and I think I read it more carefully and I absorb it in a different fashion. So I'm really enjoying it and it is lots of stories and lots of tales and lots of information. So it's quite nice to read it that slowly. This is another one that I am doing that with and it's called Braiding Sweetgrass, Sweetgrass by Robin Waller Kimmerer. And this is Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge and the Teachings of Plants. Um, Indigenous Wisdom of the Americas. And that's where this is based. And um, I actually use sweetgrass in uh, clearing spaces. If you ever want to change the state of a space, you can actually use sweetgrass for doing that kind of stuff. So um, I started to read this. I saw it recommended by somebody. I can't even remember who it was. And it is beautiful and I it has got quite a lot of indigenous tales in here which are just so profound um even to a uh, a white gal outside Cambridge um they speak to the eternal soul that we all share perhaps I don't know but I found them really powerful so I've started reading this Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall uh, Kimmerer and it is fabulous if you're into that kind of stuff. Not a quick read, though. You, I do think you do need to take your times with those kind of books. That's just what I think. Anyway, I actually only got this yesterday, and I I think this may be similar. I'm not sure. And it's Fire in the Head, Shamanism and the Celtic Spirit by Tom Cowan. So I was with some of my friends on Sunday. My um, I call them the three o'clock crew. And so there's some people that I could phone at three o'clock in the morning and go, I need somebody or help or, you know, if you need somebody at three, you need people at, that you can phone or, or be with at three o'clock in the morning. And those women are the, that for me. And um, one of them was talking about fire in the head um, and Tom Cowan in particular and saying what a fantastic chap he was. So um, I thought I have to get it because if they recommend things, I read them. So that's going to be my next one. So whether or not... Um, I slow down on that one and read that one instead. That may happen. That may happen because I'm seeing them again next week and so it'd be quite good to have read it before I see them and I can then say, yes, yes, I read it and it was fab. I wouldn't say it like that. I would say it like, um, you know that book you recommended? Oh, I thought it was marvellous. Something like that. <laughs> to do it better than that, I can't remember. I don't know. But I wouldn't go, yeah. Anyway, they were all quite worthy, those books. Not all, but they were a bit more worthy. Now we get to the candy section. <laughs> so as I was saying in my last video, I have recently moved house and I have found new charity shops or thrift shops. And um, so I have been uh, rummaging around and I always like a rummage. And I have found one in particular that has a fantastic selection of paranormal romance that look like they've never been read. Some of them do, but some of them don't. <gasps> and they're quite often American ones, which I would have had to order in and would take me a while. But these, whoa. So I picked up Janine Frost's first drop of crimson, uh, Janine Frost's first drop of crimson, 
say it says it's the first part of a series yes it is but it's a companion series so you need to have read the other series i read it so then i bought the prop the first series which is the night huntress series which when i told you this in the last video quite a lot of people said oh they're great and yes they are so i got halfway to the grave one foot in the grave at grave's end destined for an early grave so i think that might be the entire series but then i was looking at this to make sure i had the you know i had them in the right order and i saw another one the this side of the grave so there might be another one that i just haven't picked up so anyway two different types of series <laughs> look at that not annoying not annoying at all um so yeah, so I have so I have those. So I may have to I may be missing the last book in that, in which case I will get it at some point, don't you worry. Don't you fret pets. So this is the companion series, and these are more one-offs. So that looks like it's a one couple all the way through, and then this is the companion series where it's there tend to be just uh, one book stories. So that was the first drop of Crimson. I read that it was great i mean it's it's candy i mean it's not you know kind of you must read it's it's just you know you know you know you know a bit horsey <laughs> and sometimes you know the amount i read you thought that i would just be like oh they're doing that but sometimes i'm like oh my there were a couple of oh my's in that one anyway um this is the second one in the companion series eternal kiss of darkness which I found back in that charity shop. I went back. Oh yeah, I did. And I found this one. I was like, woohoo, it's the second one. So now I need to look what's the third one of this series, the companion series, and read those two. Oh, then um, I also picked at that time Unconquered. Unconquered by Hannah Howell, which is, oh, Highland romance. It looks like. Chat with a nice chest. It's all you need to know. All you need to know about this one. And talking about chaps with nice chests, <laughs> there's a theme here, can you tell? I found this collection in the charity shop. And I have never heard about them or anything like that. But then they were. There they were. Three Harlequin paranormal romances chaps with nice chests so we've got the darkest night that's nice back with a big tattoo on it and then we had the darkest kiss he's turned round and then we've got the darkest pleasure he's got his arms up <laughs> there we are he's going to keep up with just wondering by the fifth or the sixth book what angle we're going to be seeing this this chap i actually think it's different chaps but it's different angle each time so i'm i'm imagining by book 12 <laughs> that's going to be a cover that yeah you, you get in a in a brown bag isn't it somebody slips it to you so yes yeah, very interesting so those are my first three i've read the first two <gasps> Yeah, it's it's kind of it's called the Lords of the Underworld series, and it is it is kind of just what you imagine that kind of book would be about. I mean, it does make sense what it says on the tin. So that's the one with the chest. I haven't read Arms Up. Whee! I haven't read that one yet, but whee! looking forward to. Whee! I said, all I can think is there's gonna be a lot of cheering in that one because that could be the only reason why he's got his arms up. Please tell me. Otherwise, it me reading it going. <laughs> Husband coming in. What are you reading? I'm very surprised. Oh, it's just it's educational purposes, dear. <laughs> anyway, I had a cat looking through me at the window, but it's gone now. It's gone to make mayhem elsewhere. So I've only got two more. Woohoo! You said I don't know how long this has been going on. Oh my lord! Quite a long time. Anyway, um, I picked up this one, which is. Sherilyn Kenyon, Born of the Night. I can't tell if that's a lady or a gentleman, actually. I think it's a chap wearing leathers and a and a and a it's a league novel. 
and I'm hoping this is the first of it otherwise it does look like a series and I'm just hoping I'm not re reading in the middle of it anybody read any of these Sherilyn Kenyon's Born of the Night League novels could you tell me is this the first one otherwise what is the first one and I will go back and find it again from that charity shop I am going to be if you can't find me here go to that charity shop and I'm going to be a lurking a lurking I am anyway somebody recommended this to me Julianne uh Julianne Hoffman a retribution the past the present the terror um so this is kind of like a um serial killery American thing I think so one terrible night in New York City American brilliant law student Chloe Larson the never average law students are there they're brilliant was brutally attacked oh feel bad now in her own home and her life is changed forever life or death 12 years later on calling herself cj she is state attorney in florida when the hunt for a sadistic serial killer called cupid appears to be over but for cj the terror is only beginning killer or victim so yes it looks like that kind of thing because if cupid was the same man who left her former self for dead all those years ago the price of vengeance might be her career and her sanity but if he isn't the truth could cost cj a whole lot more justice or retribution yes i think that sounds rather fabulous and now i've read that back i'm thinking i might bump that up um so yes and i have got cersei by um madeline miller which i haven't yet read oh i'm supposed to read that but i haven't read it yet but yeah so that's kind of thriller thing so that sounds quite good actually that sounds like a good bank holiday weekend read and we've got a bank holiday weekend this weekend oh yes we do we have plans but we don't have too many plans we do have some lounging around time which i could read a quick book so i might well do that and you'll be so excited to know you probably won't be but you might be um it's my birthday tomorrow yes yes so um i might have a little trip to Cambridge because I like to go to Cambridge on my birthday um and so I might treat myself to a hardback or a new book or something I did say there was a, a book that I quite fancied wasn't it right, anyway let's not go down that road um so yes so it's my birthday tomorrow hurrah and so I will um be posting on Instagram tomorrow so if you want to come over there and say hello to me that would be lovely um i will leave my details down below and that's probably the best place where you can find me if you ever want to contact me right well there we go booktube that was a fantastic selection was it not yes it was varied i do like a varied selection i do like a varied selection i am going to try and do some sort of stack the obligatory stack oh hello unconquered the chest went off so I should do this. There we go. Da, 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 da. I mean, look at that. There's an awful lot of interesting stuff there. A lot of sauce in that selection, actually. Let's put that on the top and it makes it look a bit... Makes me look like I'm not just reading. Romance. There we go. So there we are, BookTube. Um, this has been lovely. Thank you very much for watching, if you're still watching. And um, let's do this again sometime. Bye!